Hello everyone and welcome to our continual let's play of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, versus Officer Minkins. No, so I guess the void versus him. <laughs> yeah, Officer Minkins versus the world. It's not gonna be as, as good as spot Scott Pilgrim, but you know, okay. His face can't be seen. Oh yeah, his face can't clearly be seen in the video. But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker which required Detective Goodman's fingerprints to do. I mean, it's not bad in reasoning. Yeah, it's actually not bad reasoning, though. I'm willing to bet that's gonna bring up one of those tricks or something, maybe. I don't know. The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. Sir. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with fingerprint activated lock. You know, I mean I don't know, I guess this stuff doesn't come up in court that often, but you'd think you'd think the judge would know that. <laughs> Yeah, but do you think a lot of people here would know a lot of things? <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> These locks ensure that each locker can only be owned by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean the victim at the crime scene would have to be Detective Goodman. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. Would you really stick calling a victim after that video? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know where this cross-examination will lead, but everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. The Mystery Man. You have to press. Yeah. Hold it! Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I was looking at the wrong side for it. Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? At the face of the man who attacked you with a knife? So, sir, if you must label s people as having seen or not seen the man's face, I believe I would be classified as the latter? The latter? But you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you are the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir. But, I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking to them, you see. But, just, I don't, I don't know if I'm okay with that statement. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's fine, I get that, but, this is, dude, you're just fighting you. You're trying to, like, stab you in the face, and then you stabbed him, I'm pretty sure you'd look at his face at some point and be like, oh my god, it's that yeah, really, it kind of went very fast. Yeah, it did go pretty fast, but, but still. So I mean, if you, I'm just going to assume we never even saw a picture of the guy, so he doesn't even know who's fuck your time about. Right, right. That probably, that's <laughs> probably the case, but still. Yeah. Could say, oh, this police works. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one, Phoenix. That's that's a good point. <laughs> uh, I'm sure, still, I'm sure it was him. I bet my badge on it. Well, you might lose your badge. <laughs> you ain't going to jail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the... <clears throat> Hold it! But you don't know that for sure, do you? You never actually saw Detective Goodman's face. What a handsome face he has. Indeed. Well, I suppose you might say that. That is, if you must label people- oh wait. What? No, this is not the same. Oh, seen or not seen it. Yeah, you're right. Since his face can't be identified in the video, only you can verify it. Well, why is everyone l looking at me? If I had to label your stares as disturbing or... Meekins. Eek! Having been shown a question of a video at best, we're not in the best of moods. Now please, be more certain when you testify. Y y yes sir 
You claimed the man who brandished a knife and he was Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you apologized if it was him. Ah, uh, did just... Edgeworth is like, bitch, get it right. <laughs> hey, Edgeworth has his voice in her voice. <laughs> That's true. Uh, let's see, so... HOLD IT! About these lockers, is there no other way to open them? No, sir. I myself tried all kinds of methods in the past. They only respond to registered fingerprints, sir. I wonder what kind of methods he's tried. Shut your baby methods. Yep. If the man opened the locker's lock, which only responds to its registered fingerprints, then he must be the person the locker was assigned to. Unless he cut off the hand from the other person and glued it back on. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I, I don't know about gluing it back on, but he very easily could have stolen a hand and been like fingerprints. But he or, has a body and there's no hand missing on the body. Yeah, there's no hand missing. Um, <laughs> That's why he had to glue it back on. Yeah. You guys miss the gluing place because they're really bad at what they do. <laughs> exactly my point, sir. And this too. Uh, hold it! How do you know that information? I've heard rumors, sir, from people in the know, sir. People in the know? The workers in the department cafeteria, sir. They kept- they keep me informed. They also led to my romantic troubles- oh, listen back. <laughs> they might have led to his romantic troubles, too. Yeah. It was to listen to my romantic troubles, sir. For the record, the open block I did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information to a more reliable source. <laughs> oh snap! Hmm. <laughs> so the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. HOLD IT! <laughs> However, the most important details not shown in this videotape. The man's face. So, sir, if I may say something... Please do. After all, you are the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important to this case, sir. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock, and it was his hand that tried to thrust his knife into my body, sir! <laughs> Just only slightly sexual. <laughs> only, only slightly. <laughs> only if you consider the repercussions of what I'm saying, sir. My unsettled state can testify enough to this, sir. Yes, you have a point. The footage doesn't lie. Actually, look at the footage again once we're done here. Yeah, okay, sure thing. That's it. Unless the defense can find a problem with it. Mr. White, let's check the court record again. Is there a problem with the security video? It, yes. The thing that falls down might actually not fall from outside, but in. like from inside, but outside. Yo, you're right. Regarding the video contained on this tape, there is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the possibility that... The man may not be Detective Goodman! What? This video contains such a contradiction? Objection. Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I propose we have the defense point us out this con alleged contradiction in the video. You would want me to point it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I think that's actually a reasonable thing to ask. He's <laughs> like, hey, no, I want you to point it out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Very well. Proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. I'll well, now play the security tape. Mr. Wright, please show us the con this contradiction you speak of. I have to point out a problem in the video. 
This is the first time I've ever had to do that. You can do it, Mr. Void. It's set up so you can fast forward, rewind, or pause the video. Oh, that's nice. Let's take a good look and be sure to point out the right thing. Please don't play it too many times. I... I can't stand watching this video. How did this guy ever become a police officer? Turns out he's really good in bed. <laughs> Probably so. That's actually the let's let's like literally the only thing I can reason I can think of. He's a good pet. <laughs> yep. He's not like Detective Gumshoe, who it's like, they probably, they were probably just some, like, police officers getting attacked by, like, the mafia, the mafia and Detective Gumshoe walked up and he's like, sup, and, and the mafia's the mafia like, got <laughs> they yeah. the they're like, fuck, and they ran away and the police, like, gunned him down and they were like, thank you, citizen. So why did, did, did Cut them down, so why did they need that? Whatever. Well, <laughs> because they were pinned down by the Mafia, but then the Mafia turned tail and they had their chance. And then they got them down. <laughs> they cut down the Mafia. Because that's how the police work, right? Okay. <laughs> I mean, in this universe, probably. Probably. <laughs> now then, Mr. Wright, please enlighten us. Where's the contradiction that indicates the man may not be Detective Goodman? Said blue face, that one! Keep going. No, don't go too far. See, go back. It does fall from him. No, but he still. Does he. Look at his hand. Is he holding a cloth? He's oh. holding his cloth, I think. Yeah, you're right. He is. It's, it's, hard it's hard to tell though, cause like... Keep yeah. going for now. Officer Minkins is like, oh, I'm gonna fucking get <laughs> he you! He looks like he's gonna like, kill the guy! <laughs> yeah, he does! Uh... Look at him! Damn nice! That's like a blade! <laughs> Holy crap, that's quite the blade! And he's like, BAM! And Officer Good- and Officer Minkins is like, yeah! No. Why would you- why would you do this to me? And he's like, I'll get you! Wow, look at Officer- look at Officer Minkins go! Just going at it. And he's just like, he's just like, boom, against the locker. Actually, go back, go back. A bit more, a bit more. A bit more. Can you see anything on his hand? Yeah, I'm trying to see. It's really hard to, though. I wish there was a zoom in option. Keep going it does look like It does look like there's something on his... Oh. Whoa. Whoa. He bled. Yeah, I did. I get. I guess his, his statement about the blood thing wasn't that false. He's he he, he he he. Oh, I guess he's. It makes sense. He's a bleeder. He's like, no, I surrender. I'm <laughs> French, actually. Whoa. Oh, that's not a very good look at his face. But look at he's like going like all out on this guy. Yeah, I see. Keep going. Oops, yeah. Do 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 do, do. fucking blue badger. I don't think we can see him through the frame. How did he get what a... How did he get what? Out of there? Oh, he died. He's like, that's the crime scene. Like, where, like, we saw Officer Minkin on the wall, and the other guy was, uh, right below him. Where the he camera just died? doesn't show. He's just like, ah, I'm dead now. 
Yeah, well, that's the idea anyways. I don't believe that. I'm pretty sure that he didn't just outright die, but um like because that's the that's the crime scene right in front of Officer Mink in there. So that that's what you that's the idea behind it, but I'm pretty sure he didn't just fall over dead. Um Okay. Uh, we might want to look at. We might want to point out the thing. I mean, it is something. Not the paper. No. Keep going a bit backwards. A bit backwards. Oh, you're right. When he was walking in, it'd give us a better look at his hand. I assume that's what you mean. Anyways. Maybe. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, admittedly, but this camera shifts and something. you can't see anything, so, you know. It's, I can see he's uh, watch and the clothing. I mean, uh, the, yeah. He's not wearing a card, but I mean, you don't have to wear the card around your head. Yeah. Maybe he's just weird. Is there nothing in the whole fight? That... What, what is he looking at anyway? Yeah, that's a good question. In general, the fight doesn't seem to show much of anything, which is why I was thinking the paper. I mean, I know it seems unrelated, but it's certainly something. A mostly man. Oh. Is it like, can. Is it like any frame where you can see with your hand as if that he can't really? Yeah. Is she go what a few? That's a glo that's a glove that's falling down. Oh, that's a glove. Oh, we found a glove. Yeah, so that is it. So that is what we want to, cause, yeah, alright. But what does it mean? Um... Look at the glove in the court record. Court record... Rubber glove. The tag reads SL9 instant. Extremely thin rubber glove. Well, I think this is a glove that we found. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> oh, which it doesn't mean? really mean anything right now, but it should mean something at some point. Yeah, well, actually, I'm th what I'm thinking, and I could be entirely wrong because this game is a lot of sometimes, but I'm thinking actually maybe you're right. Maybe he, maybe he was trying to put the glove in there, but it fell out or something. But um, I'm pretty sure he was using the glove because um, it would have like it might have had the other guy's fingerprints on it. Actually, I guess that's weird. Well. I don't know, if you turned it inside out, it wouldn't be that weird, I imagine. I'm not sure how gloves work, though. With fingerprints. Actually, it's a rubber, so that wouldn't work, would it? No. It's a rubber glove. So I'm assuming you can't fingerprint that. Hmm. Probably not. Yeah, well, let's, let's try it anyways. Take that! The thing that's strange about this video has got to be this! Hmm, yes, that is strange. Something certainly seems unnatural about that. What could it mean? Objection! Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Wood. But you seem to have forgotten the point of this exercise. The point? What are you looking for? It's the only... Well, one thing and only one thing. Something that indicates a man may not be Detective Goodman. Oh, yeah. Woo! I almost walked right into the defense's trap! Wow. I'll place him under arrest, sir! Rats. I need to slow down and tackle these things one piece at a time. Uh, what do I do? Play the video again. Very well. Let's try this again. <laughs> Just remember one thing, Mr. Wood. Every time you point your finger, someone gets hurt. But he's the one pointing his finger. <laughs> That's why he doesn't. I'm not play the secu- I will now play the security. <laughs> no, not play it, right. bitch. 
Please show us this contradiction you speak of. Yeah, we've already... Um, tell me to prove that he's not him. Okay, so... The other thing is the light above it. Yeah, I see that. Oh, actually, that's probably it. But what does it mean? I'm willing to bet the light means that, that whether or not a locker is open, which means he didn't need a fingerprint thing. The because locker was open. already... But yeah. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to indicate, but sure. Well, get to... we'll see. Nope. No. Oh, wait. No, I think it is. It's got to be this! Officer Minkins! So, sir, do, do you mean me, sir? As I understand, the locker apparatus works like this. Yeah, so the light thing was right. Yeah, hey, we are geniuses. We took two tries. When when you grab the handle, a sensor reads your fingerprint. If the print mach matches the registered data, the light turns on and the lock is released. According to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. So then something is seriously wrong with this picture. It's a pretty bad job, isn't it? It's, yeah, the I know it's just coincidentally in the way of the face. Yeah, I know, seriously. Uh, it's like, it's, it's one of those things that's like, clearly, I mean, it doesn't seem like the guy planned that out, but I don't, I don't, <laughs> it'd be a really weird thing to plan out the blue badger timings. Uh, when the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker. Let's rewind to a little earlier. Yeah, <laughs> they are, thanks. You could have just played that out before it. Moonwalking, oh my god. <laughs> Here, notice the light. What's this? It's already lit! Precisely my point, your honor. The locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle. Ah! Order, order! What's the meaning of this? It's very simple, your honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. Objection. But the locker locks are controlled by electronic systems. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. That's the thing w that's that's maybe the thing we saw. Maybe he had a thing jammed between the sensor. Maybe. Yeah. Not the sensor, but between the doors. Right, right. Oh, I know. It must have been broken down. Of course, I'm not an expert in this. That's not... That's not likely, Your Honor. The sensors were detected and put any my function. Oh, well. Just goes to show novices should keep their mouths shut. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation? Me, Your Honor? Yes. Why wasn't the locker locked? Me, Your Honor? Yes, well, you see, this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Hmm, oh, um, maybe something like jammed the electronic system. Something jammed the sensor? Say... There's something else that seems out of place in this videotape. I guess it did. I, I mean, I assume it would just jam the door, but I guess everyone insists to jam the fucking sensor. Well, yeah, I thought so too. I mean, I don't think it directly jammed the sensor, but why I said the sensor is like, well, we saw something else sticking out of another door, and it the door was still locked. So I think the idea to make it less suspicious would be to rather than keep the door something in the door to keep it ajar, it would be something to place. Something between the sensor and, you know, the bit of the door that senses it, so, you know, it just doesn't sense it, and there's just this thin thing rather than having a big ol' I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I guess. 
<laughs> There's got to be another clue somewhere on this footage. We this already is... pointed it out. Yeah. Very well. Let's inspect this video once more. The locker wasn't locked. Mr. Wright, please point out the cause for this. At the very least, they didn't take away any points for me failing last time. To, like, you know, for pointing yeah. out the wrong thing, but something that was still relevant. Though I actually think this is just something because it's a new mechanic they didn't, you know, penalize me for it. But, yeah. I don't know. Either way, take that! Please watch closely. This is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier. <laughs> oh, really? Is it now? Do -do -do. He did it. With, with a keen sense for detail, one truth prevails. The truth is, your Jenkins sucks. <laughs> What's this? Something white fell out of the locker. Well, we already figured all of this shit out. Yeah, but sir, it's been my experience that things fall out when doors are opened. I often fall out and roll great distances when... OBJECTION! We can't be sure that this item was in the locker to begin with. Oh. What? Ah, oh, yeah. What do you mean? The sensor triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? In inserted. <laughs> That's the word that that guy's never heard before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I assume not. Poor judge. This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Oh, I understand now, sir. It's just like my tie. Two out of three times it gets stuck in the door when I get out of my patrol vehicle, sir. Instead of the door closing, my tie chokes me. <laughs> but the hey. ob <laughs> But the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Not only that, it would also have to be block electric currents. It would need to be an insulator. Which is why it's rubber. Yes, an insulator, but at the scene of the crime. There just might have been something that fits the description. But, but sir, with the insulator I keep cut off because everyone hates me, sir. <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think I finally got... Admittedly, like, as is going on, I have to admit I don't like Officer Minkins that much. I, I still don't know if I'd say he deserves to get stabbed because I wouldn't. But, like, he's stupid. And so is Rainbow Dash sometimes. Don't, don't hit so me, are you going. sometimes. So is that for Jake? I think I fu <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Snips and Stales are pretty dumb most of the time. Yeah. I think I finally got this figured out. Very well. Will the defense please present the relevant evidence? What was this insulator that was stuck inside the door? Let's see. Clearly it was luminol testing fluid. Rubber gold. And we have a lot of evidence. <laughs> yep, we do. Take that! I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove. But we can't be sure that that was the victim's locker. It has a tag that says SL9 incident. Wait, this wouldn't be good enough evidence without that fucking tag? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I know, seriously. It just coincidentally was lying there, <laughs> even though it fits perfectly. Yeah, that's, that's kind of silly. The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker, but that isn't the case. Lit lamp attests to this. Why would oh. we even need to prove all of this? The lit lamp already proves all yeah, that we uh, needed to prove. Yeah, I know, seriously. Now we're just proving the how, which should be the police's job, but you know, fuck it, we gotta do everything. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. Imagine if you walked in. <laughs> Is this not so, Officer Minkins? Sir, it would appear so, sir. Order, order, order. 
So, we are to believe then that the victim whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman? Objection. Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense has merely demonstrated that possibility and nothing more. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution may offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Sir, m me, sir? I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Uh, oh, you mean that, sir? Of course, sir. Is this a joke? Very well, begin your testimony. Well, I'm curious to see what I Mr. know, it's Ed the card. It's the... Uh, oh, the identification card, because you have to have the ID to get in. Yeah. Uh, not that it's that hard to get a hold of, you know... You can steal it, but they, yeah. they, in, in this universe where people die all the time, no one steals. Yeah. Well, actually, I mean, if we assume that this isn't Goodman and that he co killed Goodman, it'd be pretty <laughs> easy to just, you know... <laughs> well, that too, I guess. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm not saying that it's impossible. Yeah, people lose them all the time, but that's actually what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that either the guy stabbed Goodman for the ID, or, um, well... Goodman was supposed yeah, to be like still person. alive, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That's a fair point. I, I, I'm, I'm not even sure what we're trying to prove, because if we just let this guy fall, we would win our case. Yeah, I know. But now we're proving that he, this isn't the guy. Yeah, I know. We're proving that this isn't the guy, because Phoenix Wright's cool like that. But technically speaking, if this game didn't use game logic, I think Officer Minkins would just be found guilty. Yeah, he'd be safe now. Uh... Huh? Maybe good because we, yeah. our woman didn't kill the guy, obviously. Yeah, seriously. If Officer Minkins did it, she couldn't have done it. Mystery Man number two. There's one other thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card. An ID card record, I see. I have the ID card. I have record. the ID card record right here, Your Honor. The ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Just before the crime, hmm? Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due for transfer. Why was there so few people using this room? I like how the judge just figured something out none of us ever pointed out. Yeah, that's true. I never even thought of that. I was, uh, I, because it didn't seem that relevant. I was like, well, whatever. This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand up on end. Me too. So why does... <laughs> Me too, although it doesn't make much of a difference. <laughs> 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 it's good, but why does like that? Why does um, gumshoe have a fucking officer in the like a thing in there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, he's probably dealt with some violent ass crimes in the police, like related to the police force. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe that there's... means that SA nine had to relate to the police force too. Right, right. right. That does. <laughs> so that's an interesting fact. There were only a few cases up for transfer there, and most were cleared by noon. Right, I see. Now let us move on to the cross-examination. I would say here is a good part to a place to end the part. Yes. Yep. Alright. So... 
Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time. Take care.